News out of Hollywood these days has been as much about who's been arrested as it has been who's won which award, but with a twist. Lately, a no noticeable number of Hollywood women are finding themselves posing not for publicity shots, but mug shots. Stacey Galandi reports. After her arrest on suspicion of drunk driving, Kim Delaney is the latest actress with legal problems in Hollywood. She joins Winona Ryder, Yasmeen Bleeth, Halle Berry, and Paula Poundstone, who have gone from dates on the red carpet to dates in the courthouse. Women in Hollywood are under a lot of pressure to be young, to be beautiful, to be thin, to be rich, and to have perfect relationships. Wendy Walsh has covered some of the celebrities in court for Court TV. We're more forgiving with men. Women, we're supposed to be the ones not only having the boundaries, but maintaining the boundaries for men. Who can forget Yasmeen Bleeth's startling transformation from Baywatch beauty to defend it in a Detroit courtroom? Your Honor, I was driving under the influence of narcotics. Bleeth pleaded guilty to a drug possession charge in November and was sentenced last month to two years probation and 100 hours of community service. If you're a PR person who happens to be representing one of the few women, you got a PR nightmare on your hands. And as PR nightmares go, it doesn't get much worse than the case of comedian Paula Poundstone. The 42-year-old was accused of being a child molester, a charge she has always denied. In September, as part of a plea bargain, she did plead no contest to a felony count of child endangerment and a misdemeanor count of inflicting injury on a child. I can't say that uh, women are treated differently than men. Stephen Crone is Poundstone's attorney. Uh, unfortunately, there's a stereotype that we have that men may be more likely to cause, uh, to commit crimes than women. So if you have a woman, you might be more inclined to put them out in front of the media in order to get a positive public image. When Winona Ryder was arrested for shoplifting in Saks Fifth Avenue in Beverly Hills, she pleaded not guilty to felony grand theft. But casting director Mike Fenton says he doesn't think that will harm her career. Winona Ryder is a wonderful actress. She's very skilled. And whatever this hitch in the get-along is or this blip on her radar screen, it will go away. It sure didn't seem to hurt Halle Berry's career after she was involved in a hit-and-run accident two years ago. The actress pleaded no contest to a misdemeanor count of leaving the scene, settled a lawsuit with the victim, and was sentenced to three years probation. My name is Letitia Musgrove. This year, she has won critical acclaim for her role in Monsters Ball. And just today, she received a Screen Actors Guild nomination for Best Actress. Wendy Walsh says that just goes to prove that old Hollywood adage. Any publicity is good publicity. If you can make some noise above the crowd, you will be heard and you will be seen. Winona Ryder's due back in court February 8th to answer charges against her.